Hey guys, welcome back to the 4-1 week. Today we're going to talk about part 6 of 7 of how to clean up your PC. And today what I want to focus on is a program called Malwarebytes. Now this is a program that acts alongside of, not in place of, an antivirus program. In a later date I'm going to cover antivirus and the different types of programs that are available for you to use. But today we're just going to talk about this program called Malwarebytes. So what Malwarebytes does is it searches your computer and removes Trojans and spyware and some viruses or malware, if you will, to an extent. It is a free and open source program, and to get it, you just go to their website, malwarebytes.org. When you get here, you could buy it and purchase the full version, but you don't necessarily have to have that for what we're going to talk about in this episode. So if you just click free download, it's going to prompt you to the CNET site for the download and click the green button for download now. Don't click anywhere else because you may be downloading something else that you don't want. Um, I always suggest when you download things to save them and know where you save them to. So this is gonna save to my downloads folder and when it gets through saving, we're gonna go to that downloads folder and run it from there. So it's finished downloading. I'm just gonna click on view downloads. It's gonna bring up all my past downloads and I'm gonna click run and otherwise you could go into uh, my computer and download it, or excuse me, my computer and select downloads and it would be in that folder. So I am going to install the English version. We're gonna click next. We have to accept their agreement to install it. And some more information about what we're installing here. And then this is the folder where it's prompting us to install it. We'll just choose the default default location, default name. I'll create a desktop icon just to show you what it looks like and install. So we'll give this a second to install. When it's finished, it's gonna prompt us to do two things, launch and update Malwarebytes. So if you were to click the desktop icon or if you were to go in the search bar and search for Malwarebytes and launch it, when you launch it, it's gonna always prompt you to update it. And what it's doing is it's updating the database from your computer to match the database on their remote site to make sure you have the most recent version of Malwarebytes. And the database is always going to update with the most recent version. So it just went out and hit their servers, came back, and noticed that this is the newest version, version 2013.01.21.09. So I will click OK. I'll close out all of this just so it's not in the background. And there's the logo on my uh, desktop so you can see what you need to launch in the future once you're through with this. Now there's three options we have. We have a quick scan, a full scan, and a flash scan. And under each scan it tells you what it's actually searching on your computer and what it's doing. So starting here, a flash scan will analyze the memory and auto run objects. Um, we didn't pay for the version of, for Pro, so we can't run this flash scan because it's only for licensed users. These two are the ones we're going to stick with the most, the quick scan and the full scan. Now, what I always suggest, at least once a month, you need to do a quick scan, and then maybe every so often, two, three times a year, perform the full scan. And again, this all depends on how often you use your computers and what you're actually using it for or doing on it. The quick scan is going to be obviously fairly quick as opposed to the full scan, and it's not going to take as much time. But since I've never ran Malwarebytes on this computer before, I always want to make sure I choose full scan. So if you've downloaded this program with me, you've probably never done a scan period, much less the full scan. So we definitely want to make sure we choose full scan and just simply click scan. So it's going to ask which drive to scan and I only want to scan my C drive. If you have multiple hard drives, you really don't have to scan flash drives all the time or external hard drives, but you could. Um, this C drive is just my hard drive on my computer itself. The D drive would be my disk drive, but since I don't have a DVD or a CD installed, I just want to scan the C drive. So this is going to take some time. Um, it could take upwards of an hour or two, especially if you've never ran this before and it tells you the time elapsed so you know exactly how long it may have taken and it tells you when it detects an object. It will start counting how many objects it's detected and I actually have ran this before so I'm not sure if it'll detect something or not. Um, it's been a month or two since I have ran it so it may not detect anything. If it does detect something, um, hopefully it will so I can show you how to remove an object that it's detected. 
So I'll fast forward or scan through this just so you can see what the scan looks like and see what it looks like when it's finished. So. So my scan's completed, and if you notice, it took two hours and 38 minutes, and no malicious items were detected throughout this scan. Now, if yours were to say it detected X amount of um, items, then what's going to happen is it's going to prompt you to quarantine those items and then prompt you for a restart. So what it does is it will quarantine those items and put them in a certain location temporarily on your computer, and whenever you restart, it deletes the items completely. So this is, again, just a way to remove temporary malware, spyware, Trojans, things like that. But it's not necessarily a virus scanner, if you will. I'll talk about the difference between an active and a passive virus protection program here shortly in the next few weeks. So I meant to mention that during this scan, it is okay to use your computer, but I suggest not to just because you don't want to mess up anything or accidentally cancel the scan or cause it to be interrupted throughout this process. So when it finishes, I'm just going to click OK and I can close this log file that it uh, produced for me to let me know where it checked and that nothing's detected. And again, all this is doing is checking our computer to see if anything is in there that shouldn't be. This isn't, quote, an antivirus, if you will. This is just a program that removes certain malware. This is a very good program. I suggest again to run it maybe once every month, every other month, and perform the, the quick scans in those cases, and then perform the full scan maybe once every few months or especially the first time you've ever used it. Every time you open Malwarebytes, it will prompt for an update, and all that's doing is hitting the Malwarebytes servers and making sure you do have the most up-to-date version of Malwarebytes. And this was the free trial, the pro version, is something that does a little bit more. It's more of a virus scanner that is current, is constantly running on your machine as it's turned on. Um, you don't have to have that one to use it. This one will pretty much be just fine for what you may need it to do. If you have any questions regarding this, please let me know. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.